In this video, I want to answer the question, what are project constraints? Project constraints are limitations on what you can do. They constrain the choices that you have as a project manager in designing and executing your project. The Project Management Institute defines them formally as a limiting factor that affects the execution of a project, program, portfolio or process. So, constraints limit your choices, they constrain your options. Let's have some examples. Perhaps the commonest example is time constraints. These are factors that affect your choices in scheduling your project. But you'll also encounter resource constraints. People may not be available at certain times. Material may not be available. Equipment may not be available to hire. If you need a venue or an asset of some kind, then that may be booked and scheduled to somebody else. And therefore, you need to work around that. And of course, thinking about resource constraints leads us directly to budgetary constraints. Because when has there been a time when a project manager has been given an unlimited budget? Wouldn't that be nice? Then there are regulatory or legislative constraints. Your project has to comply with the law. And that's not as trite as saying, don't do illegal things, but recognize that many projects work in complex organizational domains with many different legal constraints. Certainly, you'll have constraints over the use of information, the use of data, you'll have health and safety constraints, a whole slew of those. And the internal equivalent of that is policy or governance constraints. You have to comply with the procedures, the policy and the requirements of your own organization, as well as the external legal and regulatory constraints. And then there's technology. Technology can do a lot. But certainly within the budgetary constraints that you've got, there will be limitations on what the technology available to you can do. And therefore, technology is always likely to be a constraining factor as well as an enabling factor. And finally, there's your stakeholders, their preferences, their requirements, their needs and their perceptions are likely quite rightly to constrain the decisions and the choices that you make as a project manager in moving your project forward. So project constraints limit your choices. If you're not aware of them consciously, then you're likely accidentally to step outside of those constraints and make a mistake that then needs to be corrected. So early on in your project, during the definition stage, gather an inventory of all the constraints that you can identify and use them as part of the basis for planning your project. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get an email as soon as we publish a new video. And in the meantime, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.